Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. I'm excited to share that I have completed the shelves on my workbench. I'm gonna show you a time lapse of what that took to get up here, super simple. And then we're gonna walk the camera around the workshop here and kind of give you an overview of what we've got going on with the workbench, the shelves, and just kind of the space that we're working in here. Stay tuned. So here is the workbench itself, and here is the shelves that I added now with stuff on it. So as you saw in the time lapse, I was getting these shelves built, and you saw me put them into place. Um, since the time lapse, I have added actually a third 2x4 here. Um, I didn't fully complete this shelf. I could go four boards deep just like the top shelf, um, but because it's coming out towards my head right at eye level, forehead level-ish, I wanted a little bit more headroom, especially if I needed to get over top of my work and everything. I just didn't want to worry about uh, bumping my head. I can always put in a fourth board whenever I want. So things aren't finalized yet. I was just putting a lot of my extra stuff up onto the shelves to get it up off the floor. Made room for different uh, rulers of different sizes. Um, I've got my plaques from Weaver, my Master Tool punches. I still have a ways to go on my English point punches and my oblong punches. But I do have all the round end punches. There's my little TV for entertainment and or instruction. Remote there. Here's 
my yardstick. Oh, don't pay any attention to those knives. There's absolutely nothing that can be made out of leather that would be any good for a knife. That's sarcasm. So anyway, yeah, these um, shelf links kits, there's just six of these pieces of plastic. And depending on how they're used, kind of determines the arrangement. All right, so this one's actually upside down compared to this one, okay? That the shelves sit on. The kits come with the screws, and um, I bought the entire kit that is the workbench legs and the shelf links. All right, those six pieces. There are four legs and six shelf links that come with this kit. I got it off of Amazon. I'll post a link in the description for it. Um, but you, have, you obviously have to buy the wood yourself, but it's only straight cuts on two by fours and pieces of plywood. And all of the screws for the kit are included. Let me get some light in here. Screws are included. All the holes are pre-drilled. You just have to put the hardware in build it according to the instructions and it's super simple now a modification that I made is I wanted my workbench get the camera here on casters okay um, if you add the casters straight to the plastic it is going to break on you ask me how I know because <laughs> it broke on me so what I had to do I took a jigsaw and I squared off this corner and um, I got a 2x4. My workbench is um, 2 feet wide. And I cut my 2x4 into four 2 foot pieces. And you see I screwed those together and that is actually what I sunk my casters into. Because you cannot go into the plastic by itself. The legs are not designed for casters. So I had to modify that. So on all four of my legs I did cut it with a jigsaw. Got a simple 2x4, um, and the casters are a different thing that I got from Amazon. I'll post a link in the description for those also. But as far as the ease of how to build the shelves and the workbench and shelf links kit, um, the kit, by the way, is made by, I'm not sure if you can see that, no, that makes it worse, a company called 2x4 Basics. 2x4 Basics. So like I said, they're on Amazon. It's a good kit. Um, I put in some screws at the bottom to hold this length of aluminum bar. It's what I use to cut a straight edge. Yeah, I use, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's see, for the bench, about nine two by fours and about three pieces of plywood because I went a little bit longer on this top piece. Um, there's two lengths of plywood. Here, you can kind of see that first one right there, and then here's the second width of it. The shelves and everything are eight foot long by two foot wide, but I wanted a little bit more of a work surface, so I went 30 inches deep on this. Now, as far as the shelves, let's see. One, two, six, nine, two by fours to get this done. All right, so the plywood is going to cost you a bit. Two by fours are pretty cheap. Not as cheap as they were a few years ago, but also not as expensive as they were a year and a half ago. I do have another whole kit of the workbench and shelf links, and you can see I've got the legs, I've got the workbench all built. The shelf links are sitting up here, supporting my cool Lego set, just because I like, I like that kind of stuff. But yeah, I will eventually be putting in shelves up here also, all right, to make better use of that space in my workshop. Um, in case you don't know, my workshop is two small bedrooms in my house um, where the wall has been taken down. That's why in the background of a lot of my shots, you can see this door that is blocked off by, by my tool benches and the, and the sewing machine, um, excuse, by my tool boxes um, and such. We do not use that door. And that would be the door to the second bedroom. The wall would be kind of right in here. All right, this would be the wall. So we use this door to come in and out. Um, there are closets, excuse the mess over there. And another closet right over here. All right, this is, while we're here, this is my 
tool cabinet. I've got a mess of stuff down here I still have to organize. But um, a lot of the tools that I use on a regular basis, they are all out front here. And you open this up, I don't have a lot on the inside because, yeah, I don't have a ton of extra tools. Um, but I do have space on the inside to put other tools on the pegboard. There's some wrenches. Those are metric. I'll have some English ones up here. But there are interior doors also with pegboard on both sides, as well as some small shelves at the back and some pegboard on the very back. So yeah, a friend of mine built this for me. I found some plans, bought all the stuff, and had him do it for me. He's much better at woodworking than I am, which is a big reason why I went with the 2x4 Basics workbench kits and the sh and the shelf links kits, those pieces of plastic that you see, because at the very least, I can do straight cuts with 2x4s, and as far as plywood, they'll cut that for you at Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever you're at, so you can only get them to do that. Um, I sanded everything down, um, got it stained, stained it all myself. Um, some of you, if you're better at woodworking and staining, can probably tell I did it myself and that I'm not that good at it, but that's okay. I like it. It's got character. It's my workbench. I made it, and I'm really grateful for it. It's been great. So, yeah, this will make much better use of the space. Um, a few other things that I'm going to get. I put a power strip up under here, especially when I'm filming things and I need extra lights and stuff like that. I can clip things up here to the board, but... Um, because I have all of this up here now, I have nice big shop lights that got put in here as opposed to the normal um, bedroom lights. But because I'm kind of blocking these nice white walls that are here now, my work area is actually a little bit darker. And so I'm going to have to get some type of lighting to put up underneath the workbench to illuminate what I'm doing here. So, yeah. That's what we've got in the workshop. I'm not going to show you everything because stuff is really dirty um, and cluttered in certain places, but uh, this is what we've got. I'm really excited. Um, we've taken some great strides to get things organized, and like I said, we're going to continue with stuff on that back wall. All right? So thank you for joining me in the workshop today. I pray that you're blessed, and have a great day. Bye.